All right, welcome back to SnowRunner. And this time we are going to start with Riverside Repair. I'm going to take the the wooden planks over to the boatsman house. First of all, um, let me make it 6 a.m. first. It was already 6 a.m. I think. Um, I'm going to take the wooden planks over to the boatsman house. And then after that, I'm going to finish Motel Woes. I'm going to head over to Smithfield Dam quickly. Is that the floating stick of destiny? I think I saw the floating stick of destiny. Anyway, um, then I'm going to go over to Smithfield Dam, as I was saying, to get the service spare parts, and then head back here to the boatsman's house for delivery to his house again to finish that contract and then we will end off our adventure again in Smithville Dam. I think that's going to be a perfect planning for this episode and that's going to be um, basically our whole our whole run for for the trans start today and that's going to be quite an okay video, I think. So I hope you guys will enjoy. And please don't forget to hit that likes, like and subscribe button. If you're enjoying the videos. I try to post it three times a week. I'm doing my best to do so. But as I've said in the previous episode, sometimes life gets in the way. Like this last week, so... I hope I'm able to get this one out. Um, I'm hoping on Wednesday to push this one out and then on Friday another long episode. Because this one, I'm planning it to be a short one, but we will all see. Uh, you will already know how this is. that's going to work out. Um, I do not know that yet. So I'm hoping that it's that it worked out but who knows who knows um yeah and i'm going to head over to the sawmill again for the wooden planks so i will see you guys there for the last little bit and we are rocking up to the sawmill and if you've seen the previous episode then you know that yeah this truck is uh it's holding some secrets, um, mainly as to how good it is in circumstances that it's not made for. I mean, this is a highway truck and, oh yeah, as you can see, it's doing quite well off-road. Uh, it's not only because of the tires, I think. I think it's because of the center of gravity being somewhere in the middle of the truck instead of in front on the front axle so it's not digging its front axle in as much um did not do a lot of research into why and how this truck is so good for what it's supposed to be but i just enjoy it <laughs> i enjoy it for I enjoy it for what it is and for what it's doing so I am going to uh, bring this these planks over to the boatsman's house I hope that it's not going to be much of a pain in the backside in regards to the road to take and I think I will um, stop here on the concrete still on the asphalt turn the engine off and then just plan it out first there's not a whole lot to plan out um, I'm going to go back and take that road because that looks more promising than the other one uh, it looks more solid so I will take this opportunity to take it still and hope for the best 
I mean, there's a lot of trees around, so if ever I get stuck, I'm able to drag myself out. Still, so. And I think I'm going to need that ability quite quickly here. It looks fairly unstable ground, but it's not, so. Okay, that's surprising. Let's keep on going. Um, the road goes up there. All right, back, 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 back. I was thinking it went down there, but it didn't. So let's continue. Um, yeah, this truck really looks out of place here, but it's actually quite happy doing what it's doing. That's why I said it's holding some secrets because it it, it is in a sense uh, a highway truck, but it's not behaving like a highway truck, which uh, basically makes me uh, fairly confident that we're able to do this. Just trying not to tip over. in the corners and going wherever I'm going to back into this so that I can turn back that way there we go uh, no. oh we need to deliver to the back okay let's go to the back you do know that your garbage bin is going to go all places, right? And that your fence is not going to stay alive for too long. You're going to request stuff like this. Cargo management and wooden planks have been delivered. That's the first. Then the next one is going to be going to Smithville down first or am I going to do it last? Hmm. Contemplation. Um. Well, anyways, I'm going to have to follow this path first anyway, so... And then we're close to the Smithville Dam entrance, so let's see how this works out. And then if it's all good and it's a happy road, then we're going to Smithville Dam first. To get the service spare parts and then come back. Ouch, that hurt. I can fix it at the garage in Smithville Dam. Because I will be passing that. Alright, let's go to Smithville Dam. This is not a happy part of the road. All-wheel drive would have been nice there, but... Still got out of there. So, not complaining. All right, welcome in Smithville Dam. Here we are going to still get the service spare parts. Am I going to fix the engine? Yeah, it's the engine, so I need to fix it first. It's going to use a lot of fuel otherwise. So I'm going to stop by the garage and then get the service spare parts. So I will see you guys at the service spare parts, at the service area. You know, I just realized I didn't have to go to the garage because coming into here, then it'll fix your truck anyway. Anyway, we got the service spare parts. Um, yeah, I'm sometimes a little bit of a dumbass, but I realized quickly enough, so. Um, yeah. Let's head back to Black River, and then I will see you guys after we travel through the tunnel. 
because we did not sign up to watch me drive tarmac. So back in Black River, um, yeah, let's try and get it to the boatsman's house because this road, this entrance here, it looked quite nasty last time I passed it. But it's not. Now it's not. Maybe it was the angle that I took. Can be. Not quite sure. Uh, it's not following the correct one. Uh, it was this one tracking. There we go. It will track whatever. Uh, it'll track whatever is first on the list when you come back and turn in and everything like that you know it can be quite annoying if you're not following the quest line as they put up to you but or in alphabetical order but hey we all play the game in our own way and I like to do it out of order because it's easier this way or it's more I'm more capable of doing it that way and then we are going to the back of this house again so turn in turn back and there we go straight and rotate around to the back cargo management service spare parts wonderful our small but proud fleet will be sailing down the river in no time thanks a lot so it's for his boats all right i'm happy for you but in the meantime i'm going to be driving a truck and let's go and get the curtain side trailer. As this is still kind of solid ground, I'm going to find the motel woes, start tracking, and let's get going. Let's go and get that trailer. Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. That's the problem. It's a lack of grip because I'm propped up on a rock. Alright, um, here we go to the curtain side trailer. And as I'm recording this one, our previous episode is... <laughs> it's still uploading, so... It's Monday, still. Huh, again, seven... Why do I always damage my engine on that rock? Dang it. So, the previous episode is still uh, uploading. Or, I hope it's it just finished uploading and then now it's processing so yeah it's monday it's almost 2 p.m and it goes live at four so i hope it's done my internet was quite uh complaining about everything but you know it's internet and i don't care about i do care about speeds and it should just it should just do what I tell it so basically don't care about what it's feeling or what it wants just has to do as I tell it and that was upload a video so I'm hoping everything went through in order and here is the curtain side trailer so let's take it turning in backwards going to grab that trailer and attach 
then we are going is it worth it to continue I think it is I think it's worth it to continue this path oh I think I'm going to struggle a lot I see the weight of this trailer acting out on the rear axle of my truck Getting into the motel. Um, this is not where we're going to drop it off. But I'm going to turn myself around here. And this is where it should accept the trailer. There it is. Well, you gave him a fighting chance. Let's hope they can get up and running sometime soon. That's 210 experience and 1850 currencies not sure what kind of currencies anyway um, I'm going to drive this truck back to Smithville Dam and see you guys uh, in the next town over in the garage all right um, heading into the garage we are done for today and I hope that you guys are really thoroughly enjoyed this episode and just one thing I need to do is get you back on that sell that get you back on that sell that there is no stop I do not have uh, the tires get you back on that sell that they have mud tires already oh wait Get you back on that and sell that. Get you back on that and sell that. Because I know that if I'm going to sell it all all the way, then sell that. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. And I'm only going to get half of what I paid for it. Um, you... Stock, sell it, did not put, did not put, yeah, this is basically the stock version. I am going to uh, retain EU, then into the storage and sell, because it's useless to me. Using a lot of fuel, this one is a lot better. And you can go onto mud tires. 
the 39 inch mud tires then the next one will be chained this one is poor on road but we're not going to use it a lot on road excellent off road and excellent in mud so this tr this scout should be basically unbeatable then we're going to put the Transtar over here because the fuel economy on it it proved itself really well um rank eight for off-road tires yeah okay then we're going to use uod too i think because they look like they are really capable of doing anything and that should also oh, rank 12 unlocks the chained all right so then we're going to put it on off-road, but until then, we are going to take away the flatbed. Um, put uh, you customize. You're going to get a flatbed because you are more of a hauler. And you, because you proved yourself so well, you're going to get the fuel tank. Can you still tow a trailer? Alright, let's check that out. If you can still t tow a trailer with it like this. Can you still tow the trailer? Because as long as I don't have that as of. Attach. Oh, you can still tow a trailer all the way. That's perfect. Detach. So, no need to be worried about that. This one is going to be our base of operations then. Because it doesn't have to be in all the... All the big and heavy stuff. Uh, you are going to be, you two are going to be our haulers, and this is going to be our explorer. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you liked. Please subscribe and don't forget to put the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next episode on Friday. Peace.